Tiger presents the precision engineered and job proven Tiger Pole Puller for the safe, quick, and economical removal of utility poles. Gone are the days of struggling with stubborn utility poles in difficult terrain, tying up large crews and heavy equipment for hours on a single removal. The line truck approaches the work site and is properly positioned with the outriggers extended for a stable work platform. With safety a major concern, the selected pole is properly secured with the boom, utilizing both the boom-mounted pole claw and a sling. Do not use the boom truck to loosen or attempt to pull the pole. This is not the right tool for the job and will only result in damage to the boom truck and in some cases cause personal injury. The ultra lightweight and simple to use Tiger Pole Puller is the right tool for the job. The individual components are removed from the truck and taken to an area adjacent to the selected pole to be removed. These components will be quickly and systematically assembled at the pole removal site. They include the hydraulic cylinder, swivel assembly, base plate, and pole puller pad. The first component to be properly positioned is the pole puller pad. This pad is constructed of strong yet flexible high molecular polyethylene that supports and prevents the base plate from sinking into soft soil. The base plate is lightweight yet constructed with high yield strength steel. It is designed with a unique round centering bar for proper placement of the cylinder and uniform distribution of the downward load. Properly positioned within the four bushings on the pad, the base is prevented from pushing away from the pole. The combination of the pad and base plate provides the lowest possible center of gravity and minimizes the potential for the cylinder to tip. A pole can be cut only 14 inches above ground and still allow the use of the Tiger Pole Puller. The heart of the system is an ultra lightweight hydraulic cylinder with a lift capacity exceeding 50,000 pounds. Weighing in at 57 pounds compared to most units weighing in excess of 100 pounds, it still provides a lifting capacity greater than or equal to other pole pullers. Requiring only a low pressure hydraulic supply, limited to a maximum of 2800 PSI, the cylinder is manufactured with high strength steel tubing with a hard chrome plated piston rod. The bottom of the piston is designed with a radius to accommodate secure positioning on the base plate. Two handles make for an ergonomic design, resulting in low handling stress for the operator. A 16-inch stroke means two to three lifts per pole removal. Setting the pole puller pad, base plate, and cylinder is followed with equipping the unit with the swivel and hook assembly, a feature only available with the Tiger pole puller. The chain is inserted into the casting. There is a groove at the bottom of the casting and the chain should lay flat in that groove to allow for easy removal of the chain. Once inserted properly, the chain is wrapped around the pole leaving enough play so that you don't have to force the back plate in. The back plate is equipped with a non-slip surface and like the front plate, has angled teeth to penetrate the pole to fully engage it during the pull. Another added feature is the stainless steel chain bar. Following the completion of assembling the components, the hydraulic lines are connected to the coupler on the cylinder facing away from the pole. The latch hook is then released, allowing the chain bar to drop. The angled motion down and away from the pole pre-tensions the chain and secures and engages the swivel faceplate and backplate into the pole surface. This pre-tensioning of the chain and compressive load created by the swivel and backplate allows for every inch of the puller's upward motion to dislodge the pole, further preventing any chain slippage or roll-up. The swivel and hook assembly is manufactured with high yield strength steel with the chain bar and hooks produced from heat-treated stainless steel. This assembly further allows for the lowest point of attachment of the chain and securing to the pole. If for some reason the swivel and hook assembly does not return to the down position, simply shake the cylinder, which will dislodge the swivel from the pole. Generally, all poles can be pulled with two complete cycles. The pole puller equipment is then removed from the work area. And, having previously secured the pole with the boom truck, the pole can then be lifted and placed on a trailer for transportation.
it's real nice working with that. It saves uh -huh. a lot of time trying to pull it out other ways. If you didn't have that tool, how do you get pulls out of it? Um, block and tackle onto the new pole. Dig around. You're digging a lot. Trying yeah. to loosen it up. How long does it take? take Hours. Up. Days. Really? All depends on the ground. Uh -huh. So with this thing? It saves a lot of time. Yeah. What else do you like about it other than time saving? Um, it saves the truck. Like when you're using it like we did today with the truck there. I mean, you get the poles to come up without shaking the pole and, and uh, right. without doing too much damage to the truck.